So if you're someone that plays in a band and you've been wanting to make some recordings of your rehearsals to make demos or possibly share those online like Instagram, Facebook, or those kind of things, I think you're gonna wanna stick around and watch this video. Recently, I've been using a portable digital recorder to go record like rehearsals and jams, and I've been really happy with the results. So I just wanted to share with everyone what I've been doing and some of my thoughts on capturing live music. So if that sounds cool, stick around and watch this video. Jason from Fuzzler Effects, and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't yet, you might want to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the content we put out because we make videos like this all the time. So recently, I've been playing music with some friends and jamming and rehearsing, and I always want to catch good recordings of that stuff. Nowadays, most of us have iPhones or similar smartphones that have great cameras on them and it's really easy to capture video, but a lot of the times the live music doesn't translate to those little tiny microphones inside very well. So we need to talk a little bit about how we would record our band in a live scenario. So what I've been using lately is a portable digital Zoom H6. Um, pretty simple recorder it has four mic inputs and then they come stock with this like module on top that is a condenser mic pair as you can see uh, and what I did is they sell these modules separate that you can use on top and I got this one that allows you to plug in two more XLR mics into it so we got a total of six inputs on this recorder which uh, is enough to record most three or four piece bands for demos or for making videos to share online. So the clip we just heard uh, in the little intro was made with this. So I just wanna point out a couple things about this and kind of like tell people why I chose this other other ones. Uh, I basically just wanted to catch some live music clips and uh, I was just shopping myself and I ended up purchasing this one because I thought it had kind of the best uh, features for a band on a budget. So stock, you can record four mics into them and then use the little module um, as like a room mic. I think this extra module, I forget what I paid for it, but I'm gonna put links in the description to where I got all this stuff. In these recordings that I made, the basic idea was uh, you're gonna get a better recording overall if you use the proper stuff and you're able to mix it afterwards that's the big key with something like this uh, when we were recording i was setting up like one sm57 on my guitar cap one sm uh, i'm sorry a beta 52 on troy's bass cab i had a cad mic i forget the model but it's kind of like the knockoff beta 52 had that on the kick one sm58 as an overhead and a 57 on the snare let me explain the 58 as overhead. We were playing outdoors, so there was a bit of wind, so we needed some sort of like pop screen. 58s have a built-in little foam uh, piece in them because they're meant for like singing. And the other thing is usually you'd use condenser microphones on a drum kit. Here's a, kind of one of the tips of this video. We used the dynamic mic, specifically the 58, as a single overhead for the drum kit um, so we didn't get as much bleed from the guitar amps. Something that happens with condenser microphones often is that uh, they pick up everything, like everything. So uh, your traditional really nice dual XY, like XY, like condenser pair for making a drum kit in a live scenario is gonna have a lot of the room sound in it. So that was just uh, something that we did. Also, most people usually have an extra 57 or 58 laying around. Someone in the band does. So the idea was capture the core instruments, you know, the bass, the guitar. Uh, I did a vocal also on one of the clips and uh, we had the bass drum, the snare drum, and basically the cymbals in the overhead. big 
trick to these digital recorders that makes them so useful for recording like live band stuff is that they record them to different tracks internally. So what I did is when I get home after doing one of these like live sessions, I pop out the SD card, I hop onto my computer. I use Reaper. That's the DAW that I like to use. And I put the six different audio tracks into a program and then I'm able to just mix them. Uh, I don't think people need to dive down the rabbit hole of like what mixing and mastering is all about to get good results. Uh, the thing that we're lacking when we're using our iPhones or other things to record our bands, like little live rehearsals and stuff, is that we don't really have much capability to mix different instruments afterwards. Uh, the way it sounds in the room is not the way, like where you're standing, it's not necessarily the way it's going to sound to the phone. So the nice thing is I'm able to sit down at the computer and then I can like turn the guitar up or the bass up or turn the drums down things like that so hopefully this was helpful there's a bunch of different recorders out there that you can use to record your BAM like this but the one that I went with and after shopping around I thought it was a pretty good price for what it does uh, I purchased the Zoom H6 to use for Fuzzlord stuff and for catching these live rehearsals where we're testing pedals and things like that so hopefully this was helpful. The big takeaway that I want everyone to get that wants to make good video clips or audio clips of your band is that uh, you can use a camera to record the video and then use something like the Zoom to record the audio. Go home, mix the audio, and then sync the two things together. It's really not that difficult and you will get really good results with it. Uh, the other thing is it's nice to just have some like on the go recording capabilities for when you're at band practice or something and you come up with a new riff and you don't want to forget it. So this is a great way to also like document your music that way everyone in the band can practice to it later. Why don't you drop a comment below and let me know where you're watching from, uh, what you thought of this video, but specifically, why don't you let me know if you record your band how that goes, like what that's like, and what kind of uh, equipment you like to use. I really appreciate you watching this video. I will catch up with you all in the comments over the next week, and uh, I'll see you next video. So I also want to give a big thank you and a shout out to all of the people who support our Patreon channel. That's everyone's names that we're running on the screen right now. I appreciate each and every one of you, and you all really help make what we do possible here on the Fuzz Lord Effects YouTube channel. So, big thank you to everyone. If you're curious to become a Patreon supporter and help support this channel, you can check out a link in the description of this video. Also, a big shout out and a thank you to our producer level supporters. That's Troy, TJ, Rustin, and David from the band Taverns. I really appreciate what you folks are doing and how much you're supporting the channel. So again, thanks for watching. I'm Jason from Fuzzlord Effects. I will talk to you in the comments and I will see you next video.